Last episode, we made our way through preseason and got a feel for the team. Now we look ahead and get ready for the start of the championship season. It's time to get our team ready for this challenge. Hey, Respect the Jeff here, and a huge thanks to everyone. We have crossed 1,000 subscribers for the channel. That's a big milestone, and I've been enjoying interacting with you all as I continue to roll these videos out. But now it's time for a big moment in this career. We're going to sign our first Japanese star to the team. You remember last episode, our mandate from the new owner was to sign at least one to our starting 11. So looking at our options here, Junya Ito is a great player, but he's going to be worth a lot. I want to sign a few players because I think the team needs work, so I'm going to go with the other Ito. Ah, maybe not. Not looking for a transfer at this time. That's a huge bummer. He was my first choice there. So moving on now, the right back, Maroya. We can definitely use a bit of depth there. Lehigh's getting old. And we don't have any backups, to be honest. So even just as depth, he could be useful. Not worth a whole ton. I'm going to try 1.3. They're going to come back with a little more. Hopefully we can negotiate this down to be reasonable. Not a lot of money at all. Things are going to be a lot more difficult in future transfer windows because we need to keep the net spend to zero. But as we're signing Japanese players in this first window, we're allowed to use all of the money that we currently have, which is around 12 and a half million. But the problem here is less about the money and more about actually finding players who I want in the team. Endo's okay, 21 years old, but I'm just not that impressed with his stats. And Yuma Suzuki could really be a player. I don't know if we need another striker that we can fill in on the wings. But we've already got three strikers in the team, so I don't really want to sign him unless we find out we need it. So let's negotiate Maroya's contract, just get him signed and into the squad. We need at least one player before we start this season. So he's asking for an important role. I think that's totally fair. He's only 25. He'll grow a bit. And Lehigh is also on important, I think. So we'll just rotate between the two of them. And honestly, these wages are nothing. I'm more, <laughs> more than happy to just accept that. All right. Well, it looks like we've got our man. The deal is done, and he could be a really good signing for us. He's really fast. We need some pace from the fullback position. All right, so we've at least fulfilled our requirement here, but I would like to make some more signings. I'm just going to see how the team does in this first game, though. And actually, let's take a look at everyone's squad roles, just so we have a sense of who we need to play. We have a lot of players on crucial status. Unless we have a good reason, we're going to need to be playing them. Players like Bowen and Groshitsky. I'm a little uncertain about the left mid, but we'll see. And we have a lot of players signed up as an important role. Notably, all three strikers, which is going to be a nightmare. I don't know how we're going to rotate them. I think one or two might just have to go this window. I just get this sinking feeling that we're going to have a lot of trouble with people complaining about playing time. But without really knowing who the stars of this team are yet or who I like in the system, it's going to be impossible to predict who I'm actually going to give playing time to. All right, but that's a good overview for the team. You guys will get a better feel for it as the games go on. And Tom Eves requesting to play. And like I was just saying, I'm not sure who out of the strikers I'm going to give the chance to, but he's showing some ambition. I'll give him the start. Let's see how he can hold up against Swansea. Tafazoli, the center back, also asking to start. To be perfectly honest, I don't think he's anywhere near starting 11 right now we have a lot of good center backs so I'm not sure what to do with that but here will be the starting lineup for our first league game Honeyman impressed me in preseason so he'll be in that attacking mid spot I'm gonna give Eves the start up top because he was asking for it he is in good form too Henriksen and Stewart will be starting in defensive mid spots because they're both on crucial also our best players as well Rozitski and Bowen on the wings Kinsley and Lehigh's gonna start at right back he's not in form but he is still our captain. And on the bench will be our new signing, Maroya, just in case of injury. And there you have it. Here is our starting 11 for the first league game. And let's hope for a big result. All right, here we go. The first championship game and a chance to impress. We're definitely not the best team in the league by a long shot. But we got to work hard and grind out results while we build this team up. And hopefully we can start tackling some objectives and get ourselves into the Premier League. It all starts here though. We need a win. And good defensive work by Grozitski. 
Chance now, Kingsley closing down. Grozitski again, well done, winning the ball back. And it's played forward now. Bowen, Honeyman, a oh, clever step over, finds Grozitski on the wing. And a lot of space now, can he pick out his man? And cutting inside, too greedy there. Ball out wide, Grozitski again. He's had a bright start. Give and go, maybe. Honeyman flicking that up. Eves just it down. Beautiful control and gets the shot off on target. It's a good start from the team. Everything is flowing through Honeyman right now. He's picking out the right passes, really running the offense. grozitski has been lively as well. Swansea, a lot of possession on the wings. Oh, nice pass inside, cut out by Burke. Great defending. And the ball is away now. Step overs, but it's cut out. Ball up, Eves does well. Honeyman galloping down the field. Oh, and a weak pass at the end of it. Right idea, but you gotta do better with the pass. He's been our best player though, Honeyman. Looking really sharp out there. Some subs now. The game has died down a little bit, but we have been the better team, I think. Eves has been okay, but I want Bello on. We need someone who can get in behind with a little bit of pace, and Eves is slowing us down on the counter attack. Grozitski does well to find Kingsley. Maybe a chance on now. Ball in for Bellow. He's pushed off of it and it's cleared out. It's been all us so far in this game, though. It's out wide. Lehigh with it. Ball forward. Bellow running onto the ball. Chance to pick out his man. Good defending to get that ball out. It's a corner, though. Another chance for us. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from the team so far. All right, another substitution now. Grzycki's played well, but he's off for Lopez. Chance to impress, and Maroya coming on for Lehigh to give us some speed. Ball out wide. Maroya looking to make an instant impact. Cutting inside, Honeyman. Henriksen back to Honeyman. The ball's through. Maroya making the overlapping run. Beautiful ball in, and just wide. I thought that was in for a second. Lopez sending it the wrong side of the post. Both subs getting involved in that. Carroll. McKay. Swansea, a lot of possession, but not too much to show for it. Oh, and a beautiful pass in the box. A shot and a goal. Unbelievable in the dying moments of the game. Oh, and that is heartbreaking. I thought we played really well. And it just took one moment of brilliance there with the backheeled flick into the box to open up for the first goal of the game for Swansea. There's still time though. Let's see if we can get an equalizer. Ball forward. Bowen. Maroya again finding space. Cuts it back. Ball into the box. It's chested down and away though. Let's try to win the ball back. Swansea breaking our lines. Good play, caught out now. Maroya there to cover though, he's so quick. Ball goes central though. Oh, what is going on? Terrible defending. Kingsley just peeled off his man and left him wide open in the middle. Andre Ayu scoring a second and that looks to be game over. So unfortunate. We had a lot of chances to score there. And just terrible defending on the play. Wide open shot at goal. Not the way I wanted to start our campaign. And that should be time, 90th minute. And it is the whistle blows and we lose the opening game of the season to Swansea, two to nothing. A lot of our team did well, Honeyman looked really bright and Maroya impressed a lot coming on as a sub at right back. But again, the strikers really struggling to find form. I don't know who to play there. All right, Tom Eves apologizing for his performance. I don't want to be too hard on him because honestly, none of the strikers have looked that good in the games we've played so far. Tafazoli complaining again. I, I don't know what I'm going to do with him. I might have to sell him before the window's over if he keeps complaining. Chance here to turn things around quick, home against Reading. And Matt Ingram requesting to play now. I think there's a lot of spots up for grabs. The players are excited about that. And I might as well just give him the nod at goalkeeper. First up, though, I'm going to change formation. I 
think we need a little more fluidity up top. We did all right last game, but we got to get our wingers more involved in the play, so I'll push them up the field. And honestly, I want Maroya at right back with a little bit of space there to push up. I think that'll work out well for him. With Lehigh off the field, Bowen gets the captain's armband. I'm going to give him the ability to roam around. He is our best player. I want to get him involved. And Maroya can join the attack and overlap in the space in behind. We saw what he's capable of last game. And up top, I might just try something new. Eves played okay. He wasn't terrible, but he really only had the one chance all game. McGinnis is real quick. Let's see if he can give us something else. All right, and let's hope the team can perform better against Redding this time around. All right, there he is, the captain, Bowen, getting ready for this game in front of the home fans. And let's attack early on in this game. We need a goal. Maroya with it. Just working the ball around. Kingsley. Back in the middle, Henriksen. Honeyman. Honeyman always able to find that good pass through. Henriksen again chipped through. Oh, Bowen does well to win that ball back. A great save and out for a corner. Instant impact and that is what I like to see from the captain leading by example. Does well to get the shot off. Defending deep now, Ajaria. Pele. Oh, ball in behind and another ball through. Oh, we've already conceded really bad defending in the box. Oh no, it's offsides. All right, we got away with that one. Whew. Ball out wide. Bowen looking for Maroya on the overlap. Surging forward. And he whips a ball in. That's a really good cross, but no one there to finish. Henriksen, top of the box. Honeyman oh, looks to find McGinnis inside. Honeyman always seems to be making the right decisions. Ball forward now. Device. Oh, poorly given away. Oh, right back in the box. Oh, the opening goal. It's a horrible mistake out of the back. Just lost the composure a bit there. A lot of pressure coming up the field. And now we really have to respond. We can't afford to lose another game. It's out wide. Bowen cutting in. Really trying to establish himself in this game. Finds Honeyman. Oh, clever little back heel. Henriksen has a go and it's out for a corner. Redding patient outside our box. Well done by Henriksen to win that back though. Honeyman on it. Picks out his man, McGinnis. Give and go here. Bowen making the overlapping run, puts the ball in, McGinnis finishes, one to one. We are back in this game. Well done from the whole team there, Henriksen wins the ball back. Bowen looking dangerous and getting that ball in and put it on the plate for McGinnis who does finish and finishes well. Step overs up at the top of the box, looking for a way through, well defended, just wide of the post. Ball over the top, looking for McGinnis. Goes for it, not that far. Oh, McGinnis chest that down perfectly. Shot is blocked, though. That is a clever pass from the striker. Ball forward now. Bowen on it. Ooh, turns his man. He has been great. Found a bit of space now. He's got the better of the defender. Can he pick out the right pass? Cutting inside. Ooh, right there for McGinnis, who can't get to it. Bowen's been on another level tonight. Redding getting forward. Oh, shot blocked, but it falls to a man in the box. Oh, chance opening up there, but it's just blocked. Great from our center back. Now it's Maroya. So much pace, surging forward. Things just opening up for him. No one's able to close him down. He is rapid. Can he pick out a pass? Puts that in. It's a poor one. Great opportunity. And a chance for Redding maybe now. Dancing into the box. Oh man, wide open, point blank save. And another shot, Ingram, outstanding from the goalkeeper. Well, he just single-handedly kept us in this one. Ball forward now, Kingsley, Honeyman. Back with Kingsley. 
Honeyman looking for a way through. Gets the ball out wide. Maroya. And again, Bowen. Step overs. Goes at it alone. Has a shot and it's deflected. He's doing everything he can to turn this game around, the captain. Henriksen. Kingsley. Substitute Lopez out on the wing. Uh, puts a weak ball into the box, and that's time. Uh, another disappointing result. It could have been worse, but we should have gotten all three points if it wasn't for that mistake at the back. We really need to focus now. Lehigh concerned with his playing time now with that new signing coming. And I tell him rotation is important. Definitely not out of my plans. Maybe not a sure starter anymore, but he is a good player. I've gotten an offer here for Angus McDonald. We have a lot of center backs, so honestly, if they give us a decent offer, I think I'll take it. We still have two other center backs waiting in the reserves. And remember, every player we sell is going to get added to our net spend, and we'll be able to use that in future transfer windows, so it's going to be important that we build up a little bit. I'm just going to sim this cup game away to Oxford. I want to keep going in the league. And a 1-0 win. Henriksen, the unlikely scorer, but he got forward, got a goal. And the young center back, McKinsey, 62 overall, a lot of room to grow. But we gave him the start, and he's happy with that. He might be one for the future eventually. All right, and a tough matchup against Brentford coming up next. And McDonald has been sold. 500000 added to our transfer budget meaning we are in the positive for half a million. And look at that, McKinsey really ambitious and looking to fill that role. I really like his attitude. Let's start building this guy up. He could be one for the future. I'll add him to our training regimen. But that takes us to the end of this episode. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Please subscribe if you've been enjoying this content. We're back for some tough matchups in the league coming up next. It's Brentford away. But until then, I'm Respect the Jeff, and I'll see you next time.